The United Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has been transformed in the past few decades into a leading powerhouse of economic growth and development. With growing influence and vast resources at its disposal, Saudi Arabia looks to fill the power vacuum left void by the declining West. What are the future prospects of the Middle Eastern giant in a world of waning Western influence? What does the alliance with BRICS mean for the balance of power? Let's find out. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia spans the Arabian Peninsula and is bordered to the north by Jordan, Kuwait and Iraq and to the south by Oman and Yemen. It is the second largest OPEC member country and the 14th largest country in the world with a total area of around 2 million square kilometers. Arabic is the official language and the local currency is the Rial. Around 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves are in Saudi Arabia and the growing demand from the past decades has spurred unprecedented economic development. The kingdom's other natural resources, in addition to petroleum, include natural gas, iron ore, gold and copper. The modern state of Saudi Arabia was founded in 1932 by King Abdulaziz Al Saud, has transformed from a desert nation to a sophisticated state and major international player, tracing its roots to the Arabian Peninsula's ancient trade center and birthplace of Islam. The Arabian Peninsula, the area between the Nile River Valley and Mesopotamia, was a crucial center of ancient civilization. Trade here was vital, with caravan routes transporting agricultural goods like almonds, dates and aromatics to make supporting the sparse population possible. Now, around 35.5 million people call Saudi Arabia home with over 7 million of them residing in Riyadh, the country's capital. According to World Bank 2021 statistics, Saudi Arabia's GDP is about 833.5 billion US dollars, with a GDP growth rate of 3.2%. The entire Saudi population has access to the internet. The majority of exports are made up of petroleum and petroleum-related items. The three main imports are chemicals and chemical products, food and animals, and machinery and transportation equipment. The United States, China, Japan and the United Arab Emirates are the main trading partners. But Mohammed Al Jadan, the finance minister of Saudi Arabia, shocked reporters in Davos at the World Economic Forum in January by declaring that the oil-rich country was willing to engage in currency trading for the first time in 48 years. Al Jadan said, There are no concerns with talking about how we settle our trade agreements, whether it be in US dollars, euros or Saudi rials. His remarks are the most recent indication that major world powers are planning to de-dollarize the economy. Can the real replace the dollar? The dollar's dominance in global trade and capital flows dates back 80 years. The US has become the world's largest economy, most influential political entity and powerful military force. However, Economists worry that the US has weaponized this power, implementing sanctions, devaluing its currency and leveraging it to support its own economy. Last year, Putin announced a new international currency standard at the BRICS summit, while China encourages yuan payments for oil producers and exporters. While the dollar's dominance is underappreciated, it could erode its influence. The dollar makes up nearly 60% of all foreign reserves as of late 2022. Comparatively, the euro makes up about 20% of global reserves, whereas the Chinese yuan only makes up 2.76%. There is much catching up to do for other nations. 
The size of the economy of the country issuing the currency has a strong bearing on its reserve currency status. In other words, the status of reserve currency typically belongs to the greatest economy. India is expanding quickly, but to catch up to the GDP of the United States today, it would need to expand by 628%. That might take some 25 years. Some people think that China will never surpass the United States because of the slowing growth in recent years. And before Russia invaded Ukraine, it had the 11th largest economy despite being smaller economically than California or Texas. The United States may lose influence in some areas of the global economy, but it won't lose its absolute domination. For instance, while the dollar may continue to be the chosen reserve currency for central banks of industrialized countries, the Chinese Yuan may become more significant for commerce and cross-border payments. That's not the catastrophic wipeout you would expect. The US dollar might have lost 98% of its purchasing power since 1971, but it's still got some juice left in the tank to remain the world's reserve currency. For now. Involvement in BRICS as Saudi Arabia prepares to potentially join the BRICS, it could have significant economic implications for the region and the world as a whole. Understanding the economic power of BRICS nations is crucial. This includes Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Saudi Arabia's membership would significantly increase the bloc's size and influence offering access to a powerful economic network. Saudi Arabia's joining BRICS could increase trade opportunities, diversify trade relationships and boost economic stability by focusing on energy trade and diversifying its relationships beyond Western partners. Saudi Arabia's alignment with BRICS nations could transform energy geopolitics and challenge Western dominance. This strategic partnership could lead to enhanced cooperation, joint ventures in oil exploration, production, and alternative energy trading mechanisms, promoting energy security and resilience for member states. BRICS membership offers increased investment opportunities as the bloc's new development bank with a $100 billion capital rivals the IMF. Saudi Arabia's strategic location and industrial growth make it an attractive destination for foreign investment. Saudi Arabia benefits from BRICS membership, attracting more visitors and employment opportunities, and leveraging technological innovation in China and India. Saudi Arabia's cultural compatibility with BRICS nations and shared conservative values strengthens their relationships and historical trade connections with China and India foster cultural exchanges. Joining BRICS presents risks and challenges, including increased geopolitical competition between the West and the Eastern Bloc. Saudi Arabia could play a pivotal role in reducing rifts between the blocs. However, joining BRICS presents a win-win opportunity for economic diversification development and reduced dependence on Western blocs. Also, by strengthening its relationship with Iran and brokering by China, this signals tectonic shifts in the Middle East. Like the sun, Western dominance might have just set as a new world order rises in the East. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Stay tuned.